Now, we want to create a relative frequency distribution, or relative frequency distribution and histogram. And the way we calculate the relative frequency, remember, is to take the class frequency. So I'm going to use a formula again. I'll say equals. And here's our class frequency. So I'll click on that, and it gives me the reference. And we divide that by the total number of data values we had. Now, you can calculate the total number of data values, and we've looked at that already. Uh, and there are 73 in this list. We can find it different ways. But in this case, I'm just going to say equals G2, or that frequency divided by 73, the total number of data values. Now, when we look at relative frequency, we want that listed as a percentage. So up top, there's this little percent style button. We can click that. Or for other styles, if we wanted something, we could use something in this list. I'm going to use this percentage here in the drop down list. It gives me two decimal places. And I've got the relative frequency for the first class. So we see that 31.51% of our students are in that age range. Now I'm going to move this chart over a little bit to get a better picture and then copy down that percentage. So you see now that we have relative frequencies for each class. And now we want to create a histogram based on the relative frequency, so a relative frequency histogram. Now, there are several ways we can do this. We can copy this other histogram that we already have. But I'd like to go through just creating it from scratch here. So what I want to do is hit Insert. We want a column chart here. So column. And we'll pick the first most basic 2D column here. And voila, we've got a frequency histogram right there, or relative frequency histogram. I'm going to move it out of my way a little bit here. <laughs> and then we want to clean it up a little bit. So what did it do? Well, fortunately, I already had all of my relative frequencies selected. So it just used what I had selected. Um, if you didn't have it selected, you're going to have to work with it a little bit. So let's look at how we do that. OK, had to take a break there for a second. Uh, so I'm trying to pick back up where I left off. Forgive any uh, <clears throat> scattered thoughts here for a moment. So we have uh, a frequency distribution now, uh, or relative frequency distribution here. And you see that you know we have some data here um, that's su summarized. And we have the frequencies, or the relative frequencies at least. Uh, but the, the labels are wrong here on the x-axis. So let's right click on one of these values. And we'll hit Select Data. And we get this Select Data Source. And the chart data range, well, that looks right. I mean, that's what we want. We want the relative frequencies in there. But the horizontal axis labels, we want that to be labeled with those ages. So again, clicking on the horizontal axis labels, we can select the range for the axis labels. And that's going to be just the ages here, our midpoints for each class. I'll hit OK. And then hit OK again. And we look back here and we see that we have at least the ages there now. Now, let's format data series like we did earlier. And fix the gap width down to 0. We'll hit Close. And I'm going to make this the same size as the one above it, approximately. We see it looks identical to the one that we had above it. That's what we want. Now, we want some labels in here as well. You see that we have the series labeled here. Well, I'm going to call this relative frequency, if it will allow me to do that. Maybe back under select data. I'm going to hit edit here. And for the series, I'm going to give it the name relative frequency. And I'll just click on the relative frequency cell there and hit OK. And it should then change that label. And we have this label up top here. We have, and so I'm going to call this the relative frequency of ages of Rhone State students. We still need to get a label over here. So I right click on this. I hit select data or not. So let's see here. Where would I go for that? Let's format the axis for our horizontal axis first. <clears throat> All right. 
So after looking around for a minute, I found that under up here under Chart Tools, under Layout, we have these axis titles. So I'm going to add a primary axis title for the horizontal, and I'll put it below the axis. And it's asking for the axis title, and that's going to be our age. We want to add an axis title for the vertical axis. And what do we want it to look like? Well, we can have a vertical title, or a rotated title, or a horizontal title. I like the rotated title personally, so feel free to use what you want. And I'm going to call that relative frequency. Just what we would normally think of that as, right? And so now we have a relative frequency histogram and a frequency histogram here. <clears throat> the next thing that 